oligohydromnius and too little amniotic fluid at birth. Oligohydromnius is a condition that can occur during pregnancy. It is marked by a deficient amount of amniotic fluid in the amniotic sac. Amnioinfusion is the method used to add fluid to the amniotic sac. It is a treatment used to balance the amniotic levels in the sac surrounding the baby and is used to treat heart rate changes due to cord compressions. The need for amnioinfusion can be indicated by variable decelerations as seen on the electronic fetal heart monitor. In the event of extreme or severe oligohydromnius, amnioinfusion may be done to prevent cord compression preventatively. The amniotic sac is a thin walled sac containing fluid produced by the fetus which surrounds the baby in the womb. The function of the sac is to protect the baby and allow free movement. Amnioinfusion, although extremely helpful and beneficial to the baby, is a procedure that is not without risk. There are also complications that could occur because of the amnioinfusion. These complications could include preterm labor, premature rupture of the membranes, umbilical cord prolapse, prolonged labor, or chorioamnionitis, which is an infection of the membranes. What can cause oligohydromnius? The cause of the condition can sometimes be unknown, but I will quickly discuss some of the factors which may play a role in the condition. Number one, high blood pressure or diabetes before pregnancy. Number two, post-term pregnancy. Number three, medications to treat high blood pressure. And number four, premature rupture of the membranes. Now, why can cord compression be dangerous? In the world of HIE or hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy, umbilical cord compression can be extremely problematic if it is not remedied. One of the reasons being is because the umbilical cord is responsible for providing the baby with needed blood and oxygen to survive. If there are problems with the blood and oxygen flow, then the baby in some cases can develop HIE. HIE in the most basic sense is a reduction of blood and oxygen, which can lead to a brain injury. The fetal heart monitor, which we mentioned earlier, is a device that can be useful to assess fetal well-being. This is Marcus from HIE Resource Place. We will talk with you next time.